judging from the parking lot, it doesn't look like many people heeded my uh, comments yesterday about the water being dirty and all that. They got 20-something boats already launched. There's four of them in front of them waiting to be launched, and there's two of them following me to be launched. So, it looks like uh, it could be a crowded day. I sure hope everybody catches fish, because that water sure didn't look good yesterday. Our plan A was to come here. Then I seen the video of uh, Mickey Campo fishing in the parking lot by Shell Beach. That's how, that's how high the water was. So then I called my buddy back and said, Look, man, I, I don't feel like fighting that high water. So we went to plan C, which is come back to plan A, and try the trussels. Besides, I know I can find clean water here. This is if the fish is going to be up in it. So you can see folks, it's a crowded Friday morning. There is boats everywhere. Everybody's backing up, getting in the water, and the wind is still out of the south southwest, uh, more like eight to ten than uh, four to six. But we'll see what happens. My guy's supposed to be around here somewhere. But they're backing them down two at a time, folks. And the parking lot is full. Busy day, profitable day for uh the point. Folks, this is the most boats I've seen out here in a long time. Everybody's going out, but that wind's tough. It's a lot more. Look at them, they're still coming through here. There's five, six, seven of them waiting to launch. It's uh, this could be a hell of a day. Uh, I don't know where Don went. Well, I know it's going to be so crowded out there, it's probably going to be hard for us to troll. Hey, you know, that don't bother me. I'm sure you'll figure it out. That's what you do. I'll try anyway. They're still in line, folks. Might as well give it a go, huh? I'll tell you what. If all these people catch fish, there ain't going to be no fish left. That's true. I'd say 90% of them got corks, folks. Looks like they're fishing sliding corks. All of these expectations, euphoria, everybody's dreaming big. You'll be a lot of disappointed people today. <laughs> Hurry up, folks. Come watch the boat show. You can watch them as they go by. I think that's an aluminum boat. That looks like a Skeeter right there. That looks like a Nautic Star. And I got three of them in front of me. Woo! Good to be in the fishing business. Not a good sign for a fishing trip. Working on the motor. That's how they got started though. Whatever it was. I really don't know if the points parking lot is big enough to handle all these boats. Hey, the crickets. What happened? They still winding up over here. There's one, two, three, four of them waiting to launch plus this one here. Just seen the uh, gentleman and his little girl going out. Cutest thing I've ever seen. That's how I used to do it. Uh, Mama let me go fishing if I'd watch the kids, so I'd take Jody with me. And she'd be loving it too. You know it's crazy, folks, when you don't listen to your own intel. I mean, that water looks like shit, number one. We're fighting a, north, a southwest wind to get out there. And, uh, have a deep, nice little chop. And it ain't gonna get any better because we all like to troll that on the west side of the bridge, so we're gonna be fighting that too. Plus the 15, 30, 40, 50 boats that are out here. I hope they catch them. Ah, uh, it's just like I thought, folks. It is rough as shit. Tide's falling, everybody's fishing this side of the bridge. You can see. Out there is nothing but white caps. You know, but you had, we had to do it. We just had to do it. Had to come out here and confirm. Whoa. Know when you're right, you're right. You know when you're wrong, you're wrong. Anyway, we're gonna get out here. We're just gonna see what it looks like. See how many crazy people are out here. See, 
controller could be a bitch. I mean, it just waves and something else. I think what we got here more so is the water pouring out the canal back there, so mixing with the waves and the wind. Just gonna ride around a little bit, see what happens. All right, folks, now we're on plan D. Running out to the trussles was a bad move. It was real, real rough. Water was dirty. You can see the lure down about six, eight inches, but it disappeared after that. The surface was clear, but the bottom was muddy. So now we're up here in Lakeshore States, where it's nice and calm. We're gonna do our little trolls up in here, see if we can pick up on anything. Water doesn't look much better, but I'm sure further back it will be. Like I said in the post yesterday, a fish is a fish. A little eight inch fish, but I didn't get skunk. Water's not too bad back, back up here in, in uh, Lakeshore Canal States. You can see the, see the lures down there. Not that dark with the water, but at least it's a lot cleaner than Lake Pontchartrain. Trying to get my man to hook up on the trout so he don't get skunk like I thought I was going to do. Try right over this back corner. You only catch one over there, they usually stack up over there. My man didn't get skunk, folks. No way. He got him a little flounder. My favorite little fish, too. A little flounder on the orange one. That's good. A little good. flathead. There you go. Perfect. Sign of things to come. I'm telling you, man. Lake Shore had a lot of the uh, criteria of catching. Uh, wind was okay. Water was clean. Water was moving. Uh, the only thing missing was uh, wasn't no fish. Got one little bitty trout, one little bitty flounder. At least we didn't get to go. Now we're gonna head back in and go fish the uh, the pond right there where we lost the boat at. Not control though, we're gonna tight line, see what we can do. <clears throat> Sometimes I go there and catch some white trout. <clears throat> It's nice and calm up in here, well protected with the wind. Water's a little brown, but that's not bad. I mean, you can see the lure pretty good. It's not too bad out of here, Just going back. Still got the uh, southwest wind blowing. The water's not as rough. That's because the water's not falling anymore, and it's not bucking that wind. It's probably coming in with the wind, so it's not that bad, you know? Head back over to the dock and see what's gonna happen. Well, folks, had a great day today. Highlight of this trip is we don't have many to clean. Anyway, we're gonna give it up. It's about uh, 10 o'clock. Yep, about 10 o'clock. We're gonna give it up. Uh, that's my loon. Oh, look at that. It's very green. There's a loon. Uh, too rough out there. Water too dirty. I give up. There's the loon. Right there. Just waiting. Just like everybody else is waiting for something to happen. I already got one other boat coming in. I've seen two or three of them come in. They had, uh, I think, three of them over in uh, Lakeshore trying to get out that wind. Wind gauge is showing uh, pretty stiff wind. And it's off offshore up in here, so uh, it's probably worse than that out there. Don't get any easier than that, folks. Drive right up to your fishing hole. Put your poles out and just wait and see what happens. My, my, my first senior first mate said they probably caught more than we did. He's probably right. Uh, I don't know who this is. They, they just came in. Maybe they came in to get more bait. Who knows? The parking lot is full. Look at it. Row after row after row after row. Bring my man in here, let him go ahead and get the, uh, pick up the truck. 
pack up so I can take the boat up. Well, folks, we're safe in yep. town. They tried to give us a ticket. I didn't. You gotta, I got, you gotta go give it to them. All right. Go show them this. Show yeah. Them. This office right here? Yeah.